What's up guys, in today's video we are going to talk about the iOS 14.5 beta 8. Apple released this update today and it looks like we are not going to see the official release anytime soon. I mean come on Apple, it's the beta 8 and uh, still the public release is not out and now the only thing is the last and final date is 20th of April and I'm pretty sure now this time I'm pretty sure 20th of April is the time when we are going to see the RC and the public release of iOS 14.5, watchOS, macOS 11.3 and uh, I mean all of these updates are going to drop in the 20th of April Apple event. Now talking about this update, on my iPhone 12 I was having some bad return issues and apparently I think so that uh, they may have fixed the bad return issue on the beta 7 and uh, many of you guys even reported about this on Twitter at the rate tech hype, you can follow me if you want to. So, uh, if you want to report some issues about iOS or if you're having some trouble, follow me on Tech Hive. We are really close to 1.5k, and it would be really awesome if you can go ahead and follow me. Now, talking about new features, there are not really particularly any new features, but there are some security fixes on this update. First of all, talking about the size of this update, it was at 125 MBs on my iPhone 12. It was at 95 MB on my iPhone 7 and uh, if we'll see here we do not really have any new major feature in this update and uh, the only thing is this update brought some security fixes and some new security features and talking about the battery drain issue on older devices and even on iphone 12 and 11 series i don't think so they fixed it but i think that they may have done something because it is a beta 8 it is the last beta and uh, they have to make it as close as the public release along with that they also released the mac os around point three beta 8 so if you are on mac os you can install that update too talking about the watch os update they didn't really release any new watch of uh, watch os updates so they didn't really release the beta 8 of watch os which is kind of surprising i mean uh, whenever they release updates they are uh, they release updates of uh, ipad ios and uh, then we have macbook and uh, all of uh, you got the point right but they didn't release this time they didn't really release the update of watch os we may see it later today but still i am confused why they didn't release a beta 8 of watch os so that's it for today's video if you do own an iphone 11 10 r 7 uh, if you do own one of these devices, uh, let me know down in comments below what is your experience on Beta 7. I will be sharing my thoughts and my full reviews on those devices really really soon so you don't want to miss them. So consider hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Peace out and I'll meet you all in the very next episode.